that we have ever faced. But Jesus is going to reveal with unmistakable and without ability to, de to debate or defeat that that is truly Him walking on the troubled waters that we are facing right now as a movement. It is Jesus walking on these waters. And He is revealing that He is in this open door and effectual. Be not afraid. It is I. Though there be much adversaries, it is God that is opening this door and effectual. And he is bidding the church to step away from fear and step out of the boat of that which is familiar and you are comfortable with and accept and walk in the unfamiliar and quit calling evil what God has brought on the waters of this hour. Go ahead and praise him. Go ahead and praise him. The Spirit of the Lord is directing me to share with you in these next few moments. It's not something that I've sought out, but rather God caused to seek me out. In January of 2005, with my church, we had been in times of extended fasting and praying, in a season of seeking the face of God for his direction on how to reach our city and how to reach our region of Northwest Missouri. By the direction of the Spirit, we had instituted several aggressive outreach measures. We were in the middle of a city door-to-door -door prayer of blessing, door hanger effort. This prayer of blessing was physically going on foot to every single door in our city. And not only putting a door hanger, praying a blessing on that home and inviting them to enjoy an interstatewide revival with us, but also to pray over that city, that's home. St. Joseph has 30,000 plus homes. At this point, we had covered approximately 15,000 homes, of which my wife and I had personally covered eight to 9,000 homes, one by one, with prayer and effort, ministering to people as the Lord led us. We also had actively in our church, life and focus, reaching out to the drug addicts. Acts each week uh, teaching. Uh, we had into his marvelous light Bible studies uh, being taught weekly uh, to people that needed God. Uh, we had exploring God's word being taught each week. Uh, we held Jesus in the park every year. Uh, reaching out with street ministry and park uh, ministry with concerts. Uh, and reaching out to the community. Uh, we had all kinds of, of community efforts like hands of blessing. Uh, reaching to the homeless. Uh, and reaching out to the needy. Uh, and doing community efforts. How many here recognize everything I just said? Oh, come on. How many are familiar with everything I just said? Door knocking, Bible studies, door to door, one on one. Clap your hands to God and praise Him. Well, huh, the third week of January. In 2005, the unfamiliar came walking up as God directed it. Came walking across the waters. While I was speaking at a conference in Singapore for Steve Willoughby, I received an email from a station manager of a local TBN television station in our city that was a regional television station. She had sent me an email because a well-known pastor of a denominal area in Kansas City, a 
very large church, had a slot on their program, a 90-minute hosting. And he had been killed suddenly in a twin-engine plane accident. God has had me be silent about this for three years, but he has spoken to me today to now speak. Instantly, they lost the person they had hosting that program. And Julie Cluck, the station manager for this TBN television station, was driving up Interstate 29, praying. She had been praying for five days, God, who do you want me to fill this slot? And she was driving up north, and she saw the billboard that God had given us. And God spoke to her and said, have that pastor host this program. She emailed me and asked me if I would host the program. I submitted myself to my elders, to my superintendent, and to the people over me. And I said, I will do whatever you advise. Under their covering, I accepted her offer. Completely apostolic. Don't worry, I didn't put on no television makeup. I didn't boof out my hair. And regardless of what people have said, we are still apostolic three years later. My wife still has her glory. Hello, somebody. So contrary to belief, we didn't become corrupted by the unfamiliar. As a matter of fact, God moved so mightily in that session that while God was moving, the entire media team was in the back weeping under the power of God. And they said, we've never felt anointing like this. We've never experienced the power of God like we're seeing right now. Get ready, UPC. The unfamiliar is walking on the water, and guess what? It's Jesus. Go ahead and praise him. God, I worship you. God, I worship you. They aired that initial program, 90 minutes, totally free. We had our singers, our people. But this, the Northwest region of Missouri and Kansas and Nebraska and Iowa got to see for the first time for many true apostolic. They aired this 70 times over six weeks and then called us and said, please come back and do another one. I, I preach Acts 2.38. They know I'm apostolic. It's so funny. We've done it eight times since then. In three years. It has been aired over 220 times. We went from affecting hundreds with sweat and tear. We still, with the film show, where's my youth pastor? Stand up, sir. Are we still knocking doors every week? Are we still teaching into the modern light Bible studies? Are we still teaching exploring God's word? Are we still doing hands of blessing? Thank you, sir. You sit down. But we went from influencing hundreds in Boonston. Go ahead and praise them. Come on. Quit calling evil. What's walking on the troubled waters of this flower? 
Oh, come on, somebody, praise him.